What are they fam? Kitty here with the Tola Visuals. I run this YouTube channel where I do camera gear reviews. I also have a video production company here in San Francisco. I stay busy, but I also have fun, which is what this video today is all about. The DJI Osmo Pocket. This gimbal, it reminds me of a simpler time. Let me show you how to balance this gimbal. Psych. What makes this gimbal so simple is the fact that you don't even have to balance it. There's no camera cables to connect. There's no quick plates to deal with. You don't have to charge other camera batteries. You just gotta charge it with the USB-C right here. And if you're living that glide cam or steady cam life, you don't have weights to balance either. People that are complaining about flip out screens or 4K60, this device has you covered. Although you're gonna have to deal with this small sensor size. But you can't really hate because this little thing be packing. Pretty much everything you could do with the DJI Mimo app, you could do with this little screen here with the exception of using a joystick. My favorite feature, other than the fact that you could stabilize your footage, is motion time-lapse. Now normally for me to do motion time-lapse, I would need my Moza Air or my Moza Air 2, a camera control cable, my camera, and then I also need my phone to use the app to make it work. Everything is just on here now. This covers it all. Now what this device isn't. Personally for me, this isn't a professional setup that I would use for a client shoot. Now I love how compact and little this is, but because of that, you have to try extra hard with your movements and also your steps to optimize on its stabilization. If you wanna be extra, you could rig this onto some dual handles. I pulled out my Moza Air dual handles and I felt like it was a lot more natural to hold that way. You don't know how smooth your footage is until you actually dump it onto your computer. Now I know this screen is better than nothing, but it's really hard to watch your playback and it's also a strain to see what's in focus. And I also fumble with navigating through the menu. I also prefer having manual dials or buttons just so I could change the settings faster. I like having most of my settings in manual mode because it just gives me more control that way. Personally on gimbals, I like joysticks because it reminds me of a video game. This one does not have one, unfortunately, but if you connect your phone app, you could get one that way. However, it's a little bit difficult to use. This camera does the best in very lit situations like exteriors or interiors with a lot of window light. If you're looking for some low light, this ain't your camera. Also, if you're thinking about using this as an action camera, Think again, I would look more towards the Insta360 One X if you're looking for something other than a GoPro. Even though I know there's movies that have been shot on little devices like an iPhone, personally for me, I would rather use my Sony on a gimbal because I just have better control. And this also doesn't have manual focus, which is something I definitely need. So if there's an accessory that I just don't know about, let me know in the comments down below. Let's talk about what the Osmo Pocket is now. It's an amazing all-in-one vlog camera. I know the audio isn't the best, but it has gotten better after its firmware update and now it's pretty decent. So when I was a little girl, when I grew up, I wanted to be an architect actually. And then there was a phase that I wanted to be a lawyer because I watched Legally Blonde pretty much every day. But here I am, testing the DJI Osmo Pocket on the YouTubes. It's just funny how life turns out, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below what you guys wanted to be when you grew up. And if you're doing it now, that'd be freaking amazing. All right, peace. You could take this on your travels. It's also a really good beginner video camera. And then if you wanna do motion time-lapse or hyper-lapses and you don't wanna carry a full-size gimbal, right here. If you're a fully automatic shooter, this is the perfect run and gun camera option for you because it's so quick to set up. 
It's really easy for people who want to vlog themselves because there's face detect on here, although you can only use it in 24 frames, so let that be known. And if you want to be low key and discreet, look at that, you can just hide it like that. What up, fam? So let's get to what I would wish this would have in the version two device. For the Osmo Pocket, you have to get external accessories just to mount it on a tripod and connect your phone via Bluetooth wirelessly. But phone gimbals that are $100 come stock with it, and this should too. If I were to be super nitpicky on just one improvement, I would just add a quarter 20 inch screw hole at the bottom of there. Even if this had to be a little bit bigger, I need it. It is definitely light enough to gaff tape it or clamp it somewhere, but if you don't wanna buy accessories, you can connect this on your phone and then use one of your phone holders that connects to a tripod, which is something I feel like we all have already. What would be sick if you could connect your phone to this thing and this little device would swivel your phone, for example, like this or this, I would need that. What I do like, because I do a lot of low angles, is if you tilt it this way and double click the right function button, it recenters the gimbal forward. So now you can get these low angle shots and see your screen. As you can see, I had a lot of fun using the DJI Osmo Pocket. Thanks for hanging out with me. Find my name G, because I post there on the daily. You do you fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm, done. Mm, done. Because I personally, I personally, personally, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> that did not flow right at all. Also, if you're thinking you're gonna use this as an extra camera, it's it, an extra camera. I don't extra. think I said that. You said that. <laughs> we'll play it back in the bloopers and see who's right. Click the right function butter. Butter. <laughs> oh.